Hello and welcome. My name is Nolik and I'm a community physiotherapist working with the HSE. Today we're going to be taking a look at an upper body exercise program that you can do in 10 minutes or less. What we're going to do is do it mainly from the chair and we're going to use a small bit of equipment. So what you need for this is a 500ml bottle of water, you need a 1 litre bottle of water and something that would be like a walking stick or the handle of a broom or brush or the handle of a mop. You're going to be doing five different upper body exercises which target different areas between the shoulders and arms. You're going to do most of these sitting down and you're going to finish off by doing one exercise against the wall. So let's get straight into it. So what we'll do is we'll get started with a shoulder press movement. So you can bring yourself to the edge of the seat and we're going to be using the one litre bottle of water. And we'll do the first round without any weight. So our hands are at either side of our head and we're just going to press to the sky straight up overhead and bring it back down. So we'll try about 12 to 15 of these, okay? Straight up and back down. When we come up, we can breathe in and out on the way back down. Number four, back down. Five, back down. Six, well done. Seven, eight, back down. Nine, 10, 11, 12, three more. 13, 14, and 15. Well done. You can relax to your hands back down by your side. And then we're gonna take the bottle of water, one liter, and place it on your lap. From here, I want you to bring the cork of the bottle towards your ear, okay, and your palm is facing outwards. And what we're gonna do is press straight to the sky for eight repetitions. Straight up number two, three, back down, four, back down, five, well done, six, seven, and eight. Lovely. Pop it down by your lap and then switch over to the other side. We're gonna turn the bottle on its side, palm facing outwards again, and bring the cork up towards your ear. Again, you can try about eight of these, two, and it should feel pretty challenging while you do it. Three, four, well done, five, six, seven, and eight. Well done. Pop it back onto your lap and then leave it down by your side. So that was the shoulder press exercise. Next thing we're going to do is just the side raise. So for this one we're going to be using the 500 ml bottle of water. For the first part we're going to just do the warm up. Hands by your side again and sit nice and straight in the chair. Okay. Bum out towards the edge and we'll start with the knuckles toward the sky and bring them up to shoulder height and back down. Well done. So out to the side and back down. We're going to aim for about 12 to 15 of these. For the warm-up section of this, you can keep your hands open or you can make a fist. Number four, up for five, back down, six, well done. And if you find it difficult bringing your hands out to the side, up to shoulder height, you can just bend the elbows and just bring them up to shoulder height as well. Well done, eight, nine, 10, and then straighten out. 11 and 12. Good stuff. So for the main part of this, we'll grab the weight, pop that onto your knee again, and we're gonna hold it in our right hand and bring it down by your side, okay? So starting with this, knuckles are facing toward the sky, and we're keeping the rest of our body nice and strong and straight. Three, number four, and back down. Well done. Five, back down. Six, back down, nice and slow. Seven, slowly down and eight. Good stuff. Switch around to the other side then and we're going to do the same thing. So bring the hand out to shoulder height and back down nice and slowly and out to shoulder height again nice and slowly down. Rest of your body's nice and strong. Feet firm on the ground. Four, five. And you can add a little pause to the top. Six. Lovely. Seven. Well done. And eight. Good stuff, okay? The bottle of water you can place back by your side. And the next movement we're gonna look at is something called a tricep dip, okay? So this is focused on the muscle at the outside of your arm and working that. So we're gonna do about one round of this as well. And we're gonna focus, first of all, in just bringing our bum up off the ground or off the chair and then back down nice and slowly. So what you're doing is straightening the elbow at the top and then bending it to lower yourself down. 
So same thing again, straighten the elbow up and then nice and slowly back down. Straighten up for number four, slowly down. And you're not trying to hit your shoulders up towards your ears. You're keeping them nice and strong as well. So up again, number five, back down. Number six, back down. Seven, well done, and eight. Okay, relax again and just bring yourself forward a little bit in the chair. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna do it a second time. We're gonna put a bit more emphasis on weight bearing through our hands, okay? So again, bring your bum off the chair, arm straight and nice and slowly back down. Number two, and slowly back down. Three, slowly down. Four, nice and slow. Five, back down. Six, back down. Seven, slowly down. Eight, and that's one done. Next movement we're gonna do, we're gonna take the stick. So what you can have is either the, the handle of a mop, the handle of a broom, or if you have a walking stick or something like that, that's perfect as well. So we're gonna pop that down in front of us. And what our aim is, is to do the first bit of this without any external weight. So what we're gonna do is make a little triangle with our hands, okay? So our thumbs are together and our fingers are together. And what we're gonna do is just trace the front of our bodies up towards our chin and our elbows come up past our ears. So the focus of this particular movement is just on the muscle between the shoulder and the neck. So again, starting at your lap and you're bringing your hands up towards your chin, elbow up towards your ears. So the elbows are the guiding part of this movement. Three, four, back down nice and slow. Five, nice and slow down. Six, and down. Seven, back down, and eight. Well done. Now we're gonna grab the stick and you can take that up and we're going to do a similar um, kind of pattern of movement. So we're going to bring our hands together on the stick, two thumbs nice and close, okay? They don't necessarily have to be touching, but close enough that, that they're kind of, that both your hands are within the shoulder distance apart. Okay, with this again, we're going to just trace the line up along our, our bodies and bring our elbows up to our ears. The stick just comes under our chins. Well done. And back down. Same thing, bring it up and nice and slowly back down. Once we reach our laps, we can kind of relax and let the shoulders drop away from the ears again. So number three, back down, good stuff. Four, back down. Five, back down. Six, lovely. Seven, back down. And eight, good stuff. You can leave the stick down by your side, okay? And the final exercise we're gonna do in a standing supported position. So I'm just gonna move the chair out of the way for the moment. And I'm gonna use the wall behind me. So the aim of this particular movement is that we're gonna press into the wall and lower our body down while we do it, okay? So we're just gonna practice that movement by bringing our hands up to about shoulder height and then bringing our elbows back to the shoulders as well. So press in front, back down, and press in front and back down. Same process of kind of using the hands to make a little bit of a triangle in front of you. Okay, and bring your hands and thumbs together. Well done, five, back down, six, back down, seven, and down, and eight. And at the top point of this, we're trying to squeeze our shoulder blades together. So I'm gonna to turn towards the wall and we're gonna do that same movement. So we're allowing our body to lower down as we bend our elbows and then push away at the top point. Okay, so hands to the wall, up about shoulder height, and lean into it and we've stepped out a little bit so our weight is going through our shoulders. Lower ourselves down to the wall and push away again. That's number one, two, push away, three, push away, four, push, five, push, six, seven and eight. Last one. Well done. Okay. Well done. You've just done a great workout there. You did five different exercises and each of them targeted a different area of the arms and the shoulders. You can do this exercise program a few times a week and then you can build up and as you get stronger, you'll be able for a bigger program. Well done and keep moving.